I'll show you how to remove the lower B pillar trim. The only tools you'll need is a power drill, preferably with a magnetic bit tip, and a flat tip screwdriver. I'll leave a step-by-step -step guide in the description below for easy reference. If this video helps you, please like and subscribe. New videos are posted often, so you can learn how to fix your car yourself for free without going to a mechanic. If you want to see the upper B pillar removed, I'll leave that video in the description below. Anyway, this is being done on a Dodge Charger, Magnum, or Chrysler 300, and it's similar to other car models. This may also help if trying to hide a wire or gain better access to the seatbelt buckle. Anyway, let's start. First, we have to remove the step plate or lower side door sill trim plate. This happens to be a one piece part. So in order to get to the lower B pillar trim, you have to remove this and one other part, that being the side trim right up here. Grab a flat tip screwdriver or pry bar, pry towards the top and the bottom as you lightly pull it. Super simple. Now pry the bottom with a screwdriver or flat trim stick. Start by the side nearest the lower B pillar trim and work your way towards the front of the car. There are three tabs that hold this scuff plate in place. Then grab and pull the piece towards you to release it from its white pointed clip and holding area. Place it to the side. Now to work on the lower B pillar trim. First, unscrew the screw that was previously covered by the door sill cover. Now go to the back door and pry upwards on the rear sill trim. There are two tabs as well. Now I'll show you a close up. Here's the other screw that needs to come out. Now, you don't want to remove the entire rear sill plate, as you can anyway, unless you remove the entire C plate area. I have a separate video you can check out in the description below if interested. But, why work harder? You don't need to remove that. So if you bend this slightly, you can still get the screw out with a screwdriver or even a power tool. Not the easiest thing to film on camera, but you'll use one hand to hold back the rear sill door plate, and the other hand will be a screwdriver. Next, behind the belt are three screws. You only need to unscrew the bottom two screws with a Phillips screwdriver, preferably with a magnetic bit tip. Then feed the belt through this zigzag line area and pull the lower B pillar towards you. Now alternate between the front seat and back seat and maneuver the lower B pillar out of its spot. Pretty easy to get out. If this video helped so far, please like and subscribe. Now to reinstall, maneuver the lower B pillar trim back in place. Slide the belt through this slit area like a zigzag. Make sure the belt webbing is not twisted. Pop or push the pillar into place. Then put both screws in. Do it carefully. You don't want to drop these. Then tighten it to 22 inch pounds, not foot pounds, or until it feels nice and tight. Now put the screw in the front of the lower B pillar trim and tighten it to 22 inch pounds as well, or until it's tight. Go back to the rear door sill and lift it up and tighten the screw to 22 inch pounds or until it's tight as well. Now line the tabs of the rear door scuff plate and pop it into place with your fist. Now 
to install the front door sill plate. Remember, it's a one piece, so line up the white piece towards the front of the car and push it into its slot. Now look at the three tabs and line them up and place it in their slots. Tap it in with your fist or the back of a screwdriver and make sure it feels nice and secure. After that, don't forget about this piece. Line the two tabs on the back with its correct slot and tap it in. This project can be finished in under 30 minutes and is easy to do. Only basic tools are used. If this helped, please like and subscribe. Check out the other great videos on this channel and mention in the comments if you like this video or would like to mention something else that would help other viewers. Always think how to fix your car yourself, to learn, and to save money. Have a great day!